how to download base layers, the topographical information we need to use CalTopo Mobile while we're in the field without service. So first we're gonna find the area we wanna download. We're gonna go to this area here north of Sebec Lake, has no service in it. We're gonna zoom in on the area we want and we're gonna go to the top left, hit these three bars. It's gonna bring up this menu. We're gonna go down to download layers. When we click download layers, it's gonna bring up this purple box. This purple box was everything we had zoomed into on our screen. Underneath the purple box, you're gonna see these black squares. Those are quadrants, base layer quadrants to be able to be downloaded. So we're gonna click on the ones we want so we can get the area that was on our screen. So we're gonna click here. You're gonna see they're gonna highlight in yellow when we click them. We'll get these and this will fill in our box. If we clicked another one uh, that we didn't want, say this one down here on the bottom right, we clicked it and it's highlighted yellow. We no longer want it yellow, we just click it again, it unclicks it, unselects it. We're then gonna go up to the top right, we're gonna hit the cloud button, which will be our download button. That's gonna give, bring us to this menu. You're gonna see on top here, we have a resolution. You have standard, high, and max. We wanna keep it as standard. That'll give you the maps you need without taking up too much data on your phone. After we've done that, you have the option also to collect with or without 3D data for the same reasons that we um, went with the standard resolution. We're going to go without 3D data. You don't have to select those. Those are going to be selected by default. We then can come down here and select which base layers we want to download. I'm going to choose the Map Builder Topo and Global Imagery. Well, Things like um, the Forest Service maps, but this isn't Forest Service land, the, those maps won't download. Once we've selected what we want, we're going to come down here. We're going to select and uh, click the download button. That's going to start a downloading process for us. You're going to see up above that the progress of the download is going to start. As it, as it progresses through and the different tiles begin to download, you'll see them uh, highlight in blue. That's signifying that they are downloaded for us. Once they're all in blue, we know we now have all those maps downloaded on our phone. So we have what we need to be able to get those base layers while we're out of service. We're gonna go back up to the top left here, clicked on the back arrow, and now our maps are there ready to be used.